John VDM 13. I'm going to show you on. Well, I'm not really going to show you. I'm just going to tell you right now uh, how you can clean the leaked oil and dirt on your uh, lawn guard tractor around where the engine part is. Now, I have a little tip that many people don't really like. Mostly at how dirty and disgusting it is. What I do is that you take bar salt and a toothbrush, and what I do is that I would scrub it. The dirt's all gone. Now I'm going to do it with this because it seems easier. You could take a towel, whatever you can. You can do that thing is, is that that's what I do most people don't really like that idea because it's the point of actually getting down and doing it if you're desperate you know, just pour bar salt all over it and just hope for the best that's all I like to say or there's another one you can use power wash pressure wash That little tip on how you can clean that off. You know, it takes time, patience. That's something about me. I don't have patience. So if you ever see my videos online or on YouTube, I mean, then you know you should understand I don't have patience for anything. So, yeah. The Rebel Rouser over there. I am parked over there along with the Sears. So he's, he's doing pretty good so far. Just had something hit my hand here. Ooh, it was a bug. Spider. Ooh. Holding this camcorder, I just had a spider fly right on me. Ooh. That's gross. It's come from the trees. Yeah, not bad. Look at the field. Now this thing feels a little romper, so you know, you know, going through the mud, you know, dashing through the mud in a dirty lawn tractor. So you go, you know, sliding all the way. You know what I mean? Things like, yeah, mud like that, and this and that, you know what I mean? not bad so I just want to give you that quick that quick video on how you can do that I know this Toro right here um, this Toro I could probably take the engine out it takes, it's too much work taking the engine out and stuff like that you know it's got a little bit of rust on it and dirt you know what I mean it's unbelievable you can see the oil and where it leaks oil a lot so it's kind of disgusting as you can tell oh, a little blurry but you can actually tell how bad it is so like I said you can take a toothbrush bar saw you dip your toothbrush in the bar saw then you can just scrub and after you've done that, you just wipe it off with a cloth. So, that's basically it. So, not bad. Not bad. I find just about anything and everything for lawn, garden, traffic, and stuff like that. Usually just tape them. Sorry about the wind and stuff like that, but it's windy out here. But you can feel it, I bet you can hear it too in the speaker, which I don't like that at all. I'm gonna head back to the house. I walked all the way out here for 
our house here. All the way back where I got my jumpers. Kevin's got his jumpers too. years old. I'm not the very old person. I'm just whatever I am. Whoever I am, whatever you want me to be, I don't care. It's the way she is. As one pug life would say, I'm still cheating. So there's a rubber rouser and I decided to take this out for a little test drive with my new white walls and guess what I had done a real bad idea yeah a real bad idea not too good no, that still looks good from a distance though so that's all that matters it's only for tractor poles it isn't a major tractor tractor it's just for tractor poles stuff like that it's all it's getting all dirty and it needs to be washed it's neat little project this thing is rebel rouser not bad not bad at all John VDM 13, signing off. Take care.